Uh, yes, come in, come in. It's uh, good to see you again. Uh, been a while. <laughs> yeah, I I've never been good at small talk. I don't have many friends. Uh, uh, I do sometimes meet people online, and then I arrange to meet them out in the real world, and then I go there, but I just I hide, and I watch them, and I think, wow, now you are experiencing 1% of what I felt my entire childhood when I spoke to a girl. Wow. I've never told anyone that before. <laughs> Feels good to talk. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> I know you've been complaining, but you weren't ready. Now, maybe, just maybe you are ready to do real work. I mean, are you interested? Because if you are, I have a few things uh, coming down the wire soonish. If you want, I'll contact you. But don't let me down on this. I'm putting my neck on the line, and I like my neck. My best feature. Aside from my sparkling conversation, Alright, we might be ready to move on this thing. If you want the work, you'll get a knock on your door any minute.
Let's not pussyfoot around. I know who you are. I know what you're into. We've put up a property on May's Bank foreclosures, and you're just the kind of tenant we want taking it. You'll be starting an underground operation in more ways than one. Log on, click buy, and we're in business. Yes, yes, this will uh, do very nicely. Very nice place you've got. Very uh, chic. <laughs> Nothing like a bourgeois bank robber to remind me of how strange Los Santos has become. In my day, the psychos at least had the dignity to be psychotic. Nowadays, it's all about uh, home furnishings and going straight. All right, you ready? Because this is it. Well, it's, it's not it, but uh, it's something, it's something... Uh, <laughs> Very big. Uh, not quite ready yet, but I wanted to uh, see how you're doing. What I've got is a Fleesa Bank franchise. And it's nothing too complicated. There's no buy-in. Now, normally, there would be a buy-in. You would put in money up front, we would arrange the job, and you would pull it off. But this time, I'll uh, cover the upfront costs. Call it the uh, price of getting a look at you. And there's no risk to you. Unless, of course, you count uh, getting locked up or shot. <laughs> so? You ready? And what do you think? You, uh, got questions, comments, concerns? All right, what are you waiting for? Let's go see this place. Take us to the Felisa on Western Highway, near Chumash. Word of warning, we're on the job right now, so don't let the cops notice you. If they come after us, we call it off. So, my taciturn friends, I suppose you want to know how we're doing this. Well, funny you should ask. We're driving out to the bank, taking a look at it, picking up some equipment, and then heading back to make our plans. Not very complex at all. We're not going in, we're not poking it with a stick. We're just sitting back, taking a look. You see, uh, I like my scores like I like my dates. Across the street and unaware they're being watched. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, so why this bank over all the other banks in the state? Why does fortune favor this one? Hmm? Another good question. You're full of good questions. You're like a child whose parents think it's clever, or for the IRS. Or well, this bank's got some safety deposit boxes. Excuse me! This bank's got some safety deposit boxes. And in one of those safety deposit boxes are some bonds being hidden from the tax man that no one's gonna report missing. All starting to, uh, make sense. Security should be light. Well, relatively light. Light if your daydreams are raids on the Union Depository. Quite heavy if your day job is turning over. There it is. Take a look. Drink it in. I've patched into their security feed on myself. Take a look. Hmm, what are we looking at? Um, small joint, not much security. Staff won't give a crap, <laughs> especially about the deposit boxes. Customers will probably be thinking uh, how to turn this into a screenplay. <laughs> the boxes are in the back behind the safe door. We want box number 167. 
Yeah, it's right on the highway with good access. That works for you. You can get out quick, but it'll also work for the cops. Speed up their response time. Okay? Okay. Enough of this peeper crap. Let's go to the garment factory. Now, when you hit the bank, you're gonna need to hack into its security system. I've written a neat little program that'll do most of the work for you, but it's probably a good idea for you to familiarize yourselves with it. You, in the passenger seat. I've sent it to your 